welcome all uh, in this lecture we are going to discuss about the conducting polymers as we all know the phenomenon of conductivity it is nothing but the movement of electrons through any medium okay a conductor is a material that allows the free movement of electric charge or generally metals are good conductors because of their outer electrons are very loosely bound to the nucleus so they allows the free movement of electrons in it here we are going to speak about the concept of conducting polymers the nobel prize in chemistry was awarded for this discovery that is the development of conductive polymers because this is a very 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 important discovery it have changed the convention that this kind of polymers can be used as a conducting material too because so for, for till that period it was thought that that can, that can be used as an insulator if we think simply about an electric wire that is containing a metallic wire covered with a polymeric material plastic so where plastic is acting as an insulator that is that will not conduct electricity and there are many polymers that we know which is having non conducting behavior such as rubber is there so rubber is also another material very well known insulator about the conductivity of the concept of polymers is changed by this scientist shidakawa who is a japanese scientist and he introduced the conducting the concept of conducting polymers first actually it was an accidental discovery he found some polymeric material which is very much shiny in nature and that shiny material that is having a metallic texture so he thought that this can be acting or that this can mimic all the metallic properties like that by thinking that in that in mind he have studied the, towards the conductance behavior later he found that this polymeric material can conduct electricity in a good manner that is the basic behind the discovery yes yes and nowadays this conducting polymers have many applications because they can be replaced in many places where the inorganic materials are, are being used so this material like in the batteries so many applications are there we can these polymers can be used as ink or paint if you are uh, simply designing a board a board for a electronic device that can be simply designed in a computer and we are taking the print out with that ink means that will act as a hardware board only so that is wonderful application of this conducting polymer material yes the uh, conducting polymers means which can conduct the electricity through the uh, polymeric chain and that can be divided into two that is the intrinsically conducting polymers which means uh, that structure itself inherently it is a conducting conducting material and uh, we, uh, the second classification is the extrinsically conducting polymers means that can be con made conducting by adding some external uh, conducting materials so the intrinsically conducting polymers the first first and prior criteria is that uh, the it should have a conjugated system conjugated system means that polymer chain should contains alternate single and double bonds and that uh, type of uh, polymers are found to be conducting conducting and that is called as uh, called as the conjugated conducting polymers and in some cases uh, such type of system the conductivity is low so where uh, there we add some dopants dopants means we are adding external agents to make that system conducting that is a dop conducting polymers and the extrinsically conducting polymers we can have some external uh, uh, conducting materials like carbon black etc in the polymer and at uh, second one we can mix the uh, conducting polymer with a non conducting material that's that way we can tune the conducting behavior of that uh, mixture okay then uh, next slide this intrinsically conducting polymers intrinsically conducting polymer means here the conductance behavior is there 
as an inherent property to the polymer where we are having the polymers that's are, that are having alternate double and single bonds uh, we as we told that we can we should have an alternating single and double bond system this is the case in the polyacetylene polyacetylene means acet is the polymer formed by the uh, polymerization of acetylene uh, so we, in this uh, polyacetylene we can have a backbone of alternate double and single bonds in synthesis you can see we can synthesize the molecule either in cis form or in uh, as in its trans form so in general this trans form is showing better conductance than the cis form so let us see what is the mechanism of conductance of this trans polyacetylene yeah let us come to the mechanism of intrinsically conducting more polymer you can see this is a polyacetylene molecule where we are having alternate double and single bonds this is the p orbital and this p orbital undergoing hybridization with each other and that hybridization can lead an easy passage of the electrons through the hybridized orbital from that is how this uh, polymer is so becoming conducting that, uh, through that alternate single yeah. and double bond the electrons can move see, yeah with with this alternate uh, double and single bond electrons can move because of this type of hybridization will happen in, in the orbital and that can lead the flow that can lead a flow of electrons but it is not sufficient for exact conductance behavior towards this polyacetylene if we are adding a dopant to it that means we are imparting a positive or negative charge to it this this polymer then the uh, conductivity of this polymer will 10000 time that uh, that polymer conductivity will be getting increased how that guy, how that is happening and what is happening in doping that we can see in detail okay and these are some conductive polymers and uh, these are some examples of conductive polymers and its conductivity and let us see well, doped conducting polymers means there are two type conducting polymers are there one is p doping or positive doping and another one is n doping or negative doping p doping we can give other name that is oxidative doping and n doping we can give the other name that is reductive doping okay in p doping we are having a polymer that is mixed with a lewis acid that will give you a positive doped polymer what is happening and how is happening that we can see in detail lewis acid means you can you know well what is a lewis acid and all and let us come to the end doping in end doping we are adding a lewis base to the polymer and we are making the end doped polymer okay, next. okay p doping means we are adding the positive charge p indicates for the uh, positive charge positive so we are imparting or we are uh, uh, incorporating positive charge in the polymer backbone how that we can how can we do that we can add some uh, electron accepting agents that is lewis acids lewis acids are electron accepting agents and if we add the electron uh, lewis acids to the system what happens is this pi bond it can uh, this lewis acids can accept the electron from the pi bond and we will get a structure like this that is we can have a radical and a positive charge this is called as the polaron and the peculiarity of this structure is that this radical can undergo delocalization through this uh, polymer chain and since we have a positive charge the uh, an electron deficient system we uh, this neighboring pi bond will move towards the positive charge or in other words we can say the electrons are moving or we that structure becomes conducting and that is the uh, conduction a uh, conductivity in the polaron and if we had if we add one more uh, 
uh, more of a Lewis acid, one more that radical ions will be extracted by this Lewis acid, and we will get a two positive charge system. And since that two po uh, there is a two positive charge system, these electrons can move towards that positive side, and hence the conductivity enhances for that system. That system is called as the or that structure resulting structure is called as the bipolar one. Okay, next slide. Uh, End doping. End doping means uh, we are incorporating or we are adding the negative charge to the polymer system. And for adding the negative charge, we need a Lewis base or we need an electron rich system. Uh, normally used are the alkali metals Lewis base. And what happens is that a negative charge will be adding. And uh, here we'll have a radical ion and a negative charge. So this uh, that is also called as polar on and here we have the movement of this negative charge to one, one side and the movement of radical ion towards the other side and hence this polar on will be conducting material and if we add more of Lewis base to a system we can ha have one more negative charge and that is called as the bipolar on. Okay. So this doping can improve the conductivity of this polymeric material that you understood what is the basic behavior of polaron and bipolaron that you hope you understood it exactly. So this is very important thing previous exam they asked this question. So far we have seen the intrinsically conducting polymers for that we need a pi bond alternate single and double bond and we for enhancing the conductivity we will be adding dopants. Another main classification of the conducting polymers is extrinsically conducting polymer we, uh, where we have we can add some conductive element to the polymers that here is conductive filter fillers and what, what happens we will have the, as a result of adding that to the polymer polymer system we can have some conductive path in that polymers. Polymers and and the second one second one is the blending. Blending means mixing of two polymers. Mixing means uh, if we will mix a conductive polymer and a non-conductive polymer, and the resulting polymer will be a conducting material. Okay, so uh, here we are going to uh, discuss in detail about two polymers, conductive polymers that is polypyrrol and polyaniline. Uh, this was there in your syllabus and uh, the pyrrole when under uh, when undergo the oxidative polymerization will form the polypyrrole okay oxidative polymerization in presence of fecl3 uh, we will ge get the polypyrrole this polypyrrole is a conducting polymer okay how this po polypyrrole is become yeah not only fecl3 if you are adding any if you are adding any lewis acid to pyrrole, we will get this polypyrrole or labanol. We are doing it always only. We will get a polypyrrole only in major quantity. If any Lewis acid or any acid we are adding to pyrrole, then that will form polypyrrole. So, let us see the conduction mechanism of polypyrrole. This polypyrrole is as a neutral, in the neutral form, it is not that much conducting. But we know that this system has alternate single and double bond and we can make it conducting by adding some dopants. And if we add, a, if we do a positive dopants, we can, we, we can make this polypyrrole a, a, a more conducting, as a more, as a more conducting system. Uh, how we can do, well, let us see. Uh, if we add a Lewis acid, we, this Lewis acid will extract electron from the pi bond of one of the pyrrole rings and what happens is that we'll get a polaron structure polaron means we have we can have a positive charge and a radical okay and this system that is the polaron is a conducting material how, uh, by moving this radical to ion from this pyrrole ring to the other pyrrole rings and this since we have a positive charge, the pi electrons from the pyrrol rings will move towards as positive charge and the conduction of electrons will happen. But this conductivity of polaron can be enhanced by adding more of Lewis acid 
if we add more lewis acid to that system we can have two positive charge two positive charge uh, by extracting the radical ion from the polaron and that two positive charge system is called the bipolaron and that is more conducting because we have two holes or two positive charge in the system so that the electrons can move towards that positive charge and we in the in all the structures we are putting the in order to balance the charge the a minus there okay this is a very very important question uh, to show the conduction mechanism in polypyrrole so we can go to uh, polyaniline pani that is also there in your syllabus okay this polyaniline is prepared by the uh, polymerization of oxidative polymerization of uh, aniline in presence of ammonium peroxide disulfate in the acid medium okay so uh, this is about the preparation and uh, next slide uh, polyaniline the peculiarity of the polyaniline is that they can exhibit in different oxidation state because we have a nitrogen with lone pair in the between this phenyl rings so that can under that can involve in the delocalization and we can have different oxidation state of for this polyaniline and that different oxidation state systems are named in different names that is the fully reduced state with all nh that we is that and nh bonds uh, we are calling that system as leucoemeraldine and some of this nh bonds are reduced and that is called as the emeraldine the name got because of the color it is having a color of emerald green base and this is a conducting material and the completely oxidized form uh, emerald is, is a partially oxidized form and the complete oxidized form is a this one uh, and this is a non very, uh, very poor conductor this completely oxidized and completely reduced forms are non conducting or poor, very poor conductors and this emerald in which is a partially oxidized form of this leuco emerald in uh, partially oxidized means some a few of this nh bonds are oxidized let us see how this polyaniline is conducting uh, as we told that uh, as we told in the previous slide we can have several oxidation state and the several oxidation state systems are showing uh, different conductivity uh, so this polyaniline which under, uh, on partial oxidation with am ammonium peroxide disulfate will forms the emeraldine base this is the this nh bonds is oxidize this removal of hydrogen nothing but this removal of hydrogen will gives this uh, c double bond n system and this uh, benzene ring is also reduced oxidized and uh, this is a conducting polymer emeraldine base and this can be the conductivity of this emeraldine base can even more enhanced by adding acid to it if we protonate this imine nitrogen we have amine nitrogen and imine nitrogen if we protonate we have a lone pair here if we protonate on this imine nitrogen this will form a emeraldine salt and this is more it is the, um, even more conducting than emeraldine base so this um, most conducting for, uh, form of this polyaniline is the emeraldine salt okay that's for uh, that's all for this session so what we have on briefing what we have seen is a conducting polymer uh, what are the different types of conducting polymers or uh, and how we can enhance the conductivity of this poly conducting polymer systems and uh, we have seen two examples in specific that is the polypyrrole and polyaniline so that's all for this session thank you thank you